This isn't a confession. You can't prove a damn thing, so don't even try. I'll deny it to my grave. I'm on my third drink for the evening anyways. You can't trust the word of a drunken man. That's when I start to feel anything these days, the third drink. Sometimes it takes four, but usually three will do. It's the same cycle every night for weeks now. I drink, then I start to feel, then the fear comes over me. A few weeks back, there was a man at my door. I answered it, wondering what the devil he was doing there at that time of night. There's been an accident! I need help! His forearm was badly broken, bits of bone sticking out through the skin. God, it hurts. I nodded, dumbly. Shocked at his state, then ran inside looking for my cell phone. But by the time I got back to the door with it, he was gone. The only sign of him trail of splattered red leading down to my front steps. I woke up with my head throbbing. I'm not a heavy drinker. Well, used to not be one anyways. I stepped outside and noticed that there was no blood on my porch and breathed a sigh of relief. Maybe the rain washed it all away, I thought. Or maybe it hadn't happened at all. I slept poorly the night before, and my day took what energy I had left. So I decided early in the evening to call it a night. I was just about to go to bed when there was another knock at the door. I froze, looking over it. My heart raced. I tried to laugh off my rising fear. It was just someone at the door, nothing to be afraid of. But as my hand reached for the knob, I heard this voice, the same quaking shudder of voice from the night before. I stood stone still as he pounded on the door. This isn't real, I thought. It can't be. And after a few seconds, the knocking stopped and it was quiet. I flung open the door, but there was no one there. No trace of blood or a sign of his presence. Unsettled, I shut the door, locked it, and reached for a bottle. And so it went. For four more days, each night the same. The knocking, the horrible man at the door, cries for help. And each night I secured the door and waited until it stopped then drank myself into oblivion. By the seventh night I'd had enough. I made a stiff drink as soon as I got home, and then another after that one. I thought of nothing but the events of the previous week that day, so naturally I was anticipating the knocking when it came again that night, confirming my paranoid fears. I was waiting for it. And there he was, battered arm hanging limp at his side, pale face twisted into a grimace, but before he could say anything, I leveled my shotgun at his face and pulled the trigger. I want to say I was in a trance. That I was on autopilot and out of my head. But that's not true. I knew exactly what I was doing. It was solid. The porch was covered in blood and gore. Once more I panicked, and this time I did go into a sort of trance. The hours passed in a blur as I drug the body around the back of the house and dug a shallow grave. And then, I made another drink. Tomorrow, the knocking would come again. I was sure. I had not just killed a man. And I did not bury him in my backyard. When I got home the next evening, I sat and waited anxiously. Any moment the knock would come, the man would be back again, waiting for me, asking for my help. Maybe tonight I'd laugh, invite him in and ask him if he'd want a drink. The minute stretched out, and it felt like I'd waited an eternity. When finally it came, the knocking. But it wasn't the man from the previous nights, it was the police. Our car had gone off the road that night before. They wanted to know if I'd seen anyone. Maybe it was my drunken state that allowed me to lie so convincingly. But after telling them I knew nothing of it, they bid me a good evening and left. My heart pounded in my head. This couldn't be happening. It wasn't real. The thoughts piled on one by one, and all I could do to quell them down was keep drinking until I lost consciousness. 
And since then, I can't feel anything. Not until I drink. Usually three, sometimes four. And it's only then that I start to feel it. The fear. God, here we are.